it I knew I was addicted when I flipped it to four Then I whipped it to more And it's like the streets call you How could you leave me after all I've done for you? Who else would implore you? I made you feel royal All it took was some oil, some water, some baking soda To make you hover My first taste of power I'm numb off the feeling I'm done off niggas, I can't stop I'm dealing to the game This shit keeps calling my, my nigga J Love I need to sue Ain't you afraid to go to jail, God? Was you your brain all your same? But like Dale Earnhardt, the game is racing through my veins And I crash every time, but like I never hit the wall I need the case like Pedro, so I'm back pitching brawl But when the bases are loaded and cops try to squeeze play The game ain't cold enough to ever freeze Jay And I need the green like fiends need yeah. And they say it ain't right, but it's the game of I'm life I'm addicted to the game This shit keeps calling my name I rap now, I eat good, I smoke good, drink good Multi-millionaire but still I think hood Belly full, I can't shake it The hunger in my belly has been replaced with other forms of starvation I guess it's just It's old school, that's a hidden track, you don't know about that Right now 6.07pm Eastern Standard Time, August the 14th, 2018 and this is custom for me every 30 days before a major WBC fight. It's the 30 day weigh in. And in this case, the biggest 30 day weigh in of the year where Canelo weighs in at 167.4 in his little dick pocket underwear. You know, it's got to be extra. Why couldn't he just whatever? You got um, Golovkin that says 168.3. Now, I got a chance to pull up some information here from Golovkin's previous 30-day weigh-ins before his um, May fight against um, uh, Venice Martirosian and before his um, the first fight with Canelo 30 days before that. So, let's see. For example, last year, on the 17th, he weighed in at 170 pounds. So, he's, uh, you know, about, you know, just under two pounds lighter than he was um last year i couldn't find the uh 30 day weigh in for canelo and i read that he didn't partake in it but he did weigh in under the 176 pound limit okay for example for the wbc you have to weigh in under 176 pounds when golovkin fought kell brook kell brook was at 176 pounds right at that max i don't know exactly what they do if you weigh in over, you know, 176, I'm not quite sure. But nonetheless, nonetheless, Golovkin has been in pretty good shape. Um, I think I've realized now that people didn't understand or get that I was trolling when I said Golovkin was out of shape when I did that TMZ, whatever it was. But anyway, getting back to um, what we were talking about. The 30-day weigh-in for Jacobs was 165, for Kell Brook 165, for Dominic Wade 164, and for David Lemieux 165. So for the Canelo, let's see, wait, what was he for 165.9 for Venice Martirosian? So it seems as though for the Canelo fights, he has been heavier. Or he's been focusing. It, it, it's, it's clear as day that for the Canelo fights, he plans on coming in heavier or at least at the 30 day weigh ins, he's heavier. Right. You know, that's just, you know, just looking at the data. But. Let's talk about a little bit of. Uh, things that have been going on with the fight over the last um, several weeks, for example, I went to check on my um, cable to see what Canelo versus Golovkin 2 is going to be on pay-per-view. It's looking like it's going to be $84.99 for HD. So we've already pretty much gotten used to, to watching pay-per-view over here in the state, $74.99, $75. Mayweather fights, $100. Now it's looking like the norm is going to be $84.99 for HD. You know, they'll tell you, well, you know, it's $74.99, but who's watching that shit in standard definition, right? There's some scumbags out there that are, but hey, no, you're not a scumbag because unlike other scumbags that didn't buy Kovalev versus Ward, at least you're buying the fight. So enjoy it in all, enjoy it in all your standard definition of uh, 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 480p glory. I'm not going to judge you as long as you buy the fight. But in this case, it's looking like it's going to be $84.99. I'm not too happy 
with it being um um one episode of HBO 24/7. In fact, yeah, it's on my Instagram. I'm not, I'm I'm not too thrilled with that. But I understand, you know, budget cuts and, you know, on an all-new 24-7, the first fight left the world wanting more. A draw is a result it means we'll get to see it again. Now two of boxing's best prepare for the biggest fight of 2018. Follow Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin through the rigors of training camp as they aim to take the final decision of their September 15th rematch out of the judges' hands. Step into their lives before they step into the ring. 24-7, Canelo Triple G. I mean, what happened to the old days of, you know, three HBO 24 sevens? I do like HBO's part in regards to the digital co digital content. For example, on their YouTube page, they did something really good called um, the draw in the desert. Look it up if you haven't seen it. It's the uh, it's it's similar to Showtime All Access epilogue. You know how Showtime All Access with Mayweather, they'll have three episodes before the fight. And then they'll have one after the fight following what's happened the week after the fight. You see what I'm saying? And that usually plays with the replay. Well, HBO did something similar, except it's only about nine, you know, ten minutes long. But still, you know, it gets the job done. So I'm I'm sure they're going to do something like this. Here is um Tom Lofer of uh, he, 360 Promotions. He promotes um, Golovkin, if you don't know. Talking about basically, man, there's some big shit on the line for this fight because if Golovkin loses, people are gonna be like, "Yeah, look, he finally stepped up and lost, and he's old and this and that." You know, if Canelo loses, they're gonna be like, "Look, the hype job finally gets exposed again." It's some big ass stakes on the line, and not, you know, you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying, you know, like the Unvada uh, Clenbuterol stakes, like good Omaha stakes. This, this this is a legacy fight for both guys. This is look if if Triple G wins this fight or retains his title, he breaks Bernard Hopkins' legendary record. Nobody thought anyone would break that record of 20 title defenses in the middleweight division. And if uh, Canelo wins the fight, all of a sudden, not only is he the best middleweight now, he's in the, the discussion for best pound for pound fighter in the sport of boxing. He's going to unify the titles that we worked so hard. Uh, to put together. That's another reason why Triple G took this personal and is so pissed off because because of Canelo's cancellation of the May 5 fight it put that IBF title in jeopardy. IBF wound up stripping him because we were negotiating for the Canelo fight and uh, he's he, you know he's always wanted to, to unify the titles and now he's pissed off about that so he's he's not happy with Canelo uh, at this point. What it, whatever Canelo says why Clembuterol got in his system Triple G is not buying it. He's pissed off and he just wants to get him back in the ring. As soon as the Nevada Commission clears him and he passes all of his uh, tests, Triple G is coming in there and he's going to be he's going to be the hunter against the younger guy. 30 days away. You know, that's 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 crazy right there. Um let's go look at the card really really quickly and I'm going to tell you who's um on it. By the way, please subscribe, man. I'm not doing this for my health. I'm not actually going out there this year. Don't want to take any chance getting kicked out of weigh-ins and shit. People think I um took the video down because of whatever. No, the video got taken down because of the music that was in um. And you know, I don't gamble, so you know, I don't now. Nah, I haven't been in a, in a casino in years, so I didn't know that you weren't supposed to be recording casinos and shit. It's crazy shit. Fun times, fun times. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, man. Like if I would have died early this year, it's videos like that that I'm happy that are still around. You know, you know. What was I looking for? Okay, you got um obviously you know Canelo versus Golovkin for the um, WBA Super World and WBC title. Jamal Charlo is the WBC interim. Billy Joe Saunders is taking on Demetrius Andre on October the twentieth. We're working on um getting there for the WBO, and you have Sergey Derevchenko um and Danny Jacobs fighting on HBO on October the twenty seventh. From my understanding, wait, let me check real quick to make sure. It was it was just announced like a few hours ago that that's going to be the official date. Was it was it twenty seventh? Yep, October the twenty seventh. And you would think that if Canelo loses, he's going to try to pursue another rematch right now. There's no, from my understanding, there's no more rematch clauses after this. This is it. And if Golovkin were to lose, 
you know, would he go to 168? Because Canelo's likely not going to give him a rematch. That's just how this business is. Would he go to 168? Or depending on, you know, like how, depending on how one fighter loses, because I think one of these motherfuckers is going to get knocked out. Depending on how one of these fighters loses, a, 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 a third fight is very, very possible. And a third fight can be very successful. And technically be like, you know, the end of the pay-per-view era because pay-per-view is done. You know, people think HBO is like on their way out of boxing. You know, it's 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 I don't I don't I don't know what, what's, you know, in the future for HBO because they're not really investing in boxing. They're more focused on trying to like um, um, build off of established stars. And right now, with all the competition, with, you know, The Zone, with um, ESPN, you know, with Showtime. Showtime is number one. In fact, let, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. HBO will always be HBO, the number one premier cable network. They will always be HBO. You know, documentaries, series, the movies they get, they will always be HBO. When it comes to boxing right now, Showtime is number one. Top Rank is number two. And Top Rank are doing big things. You know, count Matchroom as a whole. That means Matchroom USA and um, Matchroom UK. Count them as a whole. They're number three. You know, in regards to networks. And then HBO number four. Now, remember, I'm not going by promoters. We're going by, you know, um, um, networks and what they're, you know, giving us in regards to boxing. Even BT Sport is doing their best to give us more boxing than HBO. UK um, uh, brand. So we got Roman Gonzalez returning. I don't like calling no man Chocolatito. Like, it just don't sit right with me, man. Roman Gonzalez versus Moises Fluentes. Cecilia Brock is going to be really interesting to see who she should who she's going to fight. I'm going to do a video on that. In fact, I really think she should fight Layla McCarter next. And then depending on what happens with um, um, uh, Clarissa Shields and Christina Hammer. I think the winner should meet Cecilia Brock is at 154 ish. You know, or maybe Cecilia Braca should, you know, test the waters at 154, fight Hannah Gabriels. Because remember, Gabriels had moved up to 160 to fight Shields. She's really a 154-pound champion. You got Gary Spike O'Sullivan likely taking on uh, David Lemieux. That's not finalized yet. And Jamie Mungi is going to be on the card. I don't know again, too. But of course, I can go look at the WBO rankings because he is the champion and kind of do the process of elimination with the names. What else did I want to talk about, man? Yo, he's been taking some nice shots at Canelo, too. He's been taking some nice shots at Canelo. Uh, the promoter. I'm going to show you. Uh, where is it at? Canelo was at, um, at his event. I'm going to show you. Here, watch this. We'll be right back. I just want to acknowledge a few people in the crowd. Canelo actually showed up to the event. I was like, oh, shit. First, we want to thank uh, Canelo for coming out here. Come to support our show. Canelo will be here. He's going to be signing autographs, taking photos. We appreciate him supporting uh, the 360 show. Canelo, what do you think? Are you training hard? Some more weight. Oh, you're, you stopped eating those tacos, right? No tacos. No, no Mexican meat. More Mexican style, right? Simon. Good. Well, we appreciate you coming out. There you go. He's ready. He's getting ready for September 15th in Las Vegas. We got Canelo. Do got some weight to lose, though. But anyway, <laughs> uh, T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Uh, I'm going to put the HBO 24/7 information down in the. Uh, description box so i'm gonna be one episode i'm thinking um golden boy is gonna do what they did with the chavez fight and do something focusing on canelo and boxing and mexican heritage y'all do know like i'm um half black half irish half mexican so you know i understand like they 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 did something called mano a mano where they focused on um you know mexican heritage and mexican boxing you know because we're fighters naturally <laughs> Of T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe.